Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we are officially in September which means it's time for my August favourites and in the spirit of being in September and basically not really being in summer anymore I am sporting a dark lip and quite vampy makeup. I'm really excited to do some kind of darker autumn, winter, fall, whatever you want to call it, makeup looks. If you have any colour combo or suggestions leave them in the comments below as always. So yeah, I am gonna get started and tell you guys the things that I was loving last month. And before we get on to the video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. It's totally free. The subscribe button is down there. And that way you are kept up to date with all of my new uploads. So now I'm gonna get started with this video. I'm gonna start off with all like the skincare-y bits and then the makeup-y bits. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is actually a kind of like a body product and it is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. This one is in the shade Medium Glow and I used to use this quite a lot when I used to go out quite a lot. I'm a lot older now and I feel like I just don't really go out like to bars and clubs and stuff as much as I used to when I was younger but I used to use this a lot growing up and I was at a wedding a week ago and I picked this up again because I really wanted to give my legs and my arms a bit of a glow and I forgot how much I love this. It is a bit messy when you first kind of use it. For anyone who's never used this before or has never heard of it, it's basically like a spray on tan which doesn't transfer and it doesn't come off until you wash it and you basically just like spritz it on your arms and your legs you can pretty much put it anywhere I wouldn't advise putting it on your like face but you know if it works for you then you go for it I feel like when I used to get this there was only one color maybe I'm lying but I always remember just getting like the original but um, I got the medium glow this time and I really really like it it gives me such a healthy glow but Whenever I do use this, I realize I have to use a darker foundation so that my face matches the rest of my body. I'm so glad that I picked this up because it means that I could fall back in love with it and tell you guys about it as well because I do really, really like this. So for skincare, I have two items. Um, one of them is a lip balm. This is the Tatcha Gold Camellia Nourishing Lip Balm. And I have been actually using this kind of like off camera, like before I start filming my makeup pretty much every time I want to film a video and then also whenever I'm just doing my makeup in general. This gives my lips such a nice base to work with. For example, if anyone has the Kylie Jenner lip kits, you will know that her liquid lipsticks are made for people who have lip fillers, who don't really have many creasage going on in the lips because if you do have that, it can look a little bit dry and it can be a little bit uncomfortable. But with this, I find that my liquid lipsticks glide on so well and also my lips are felt and kept moisturized underneath like the layer of liquid lipstick on top. I really, really, really like this. So this is quite a high-end lip balm, but along with Tarcha's Dewy Luminous Skin Mist, I think this has to be another favorite of mine from the whole range and I'm really, really enjoying this. So the next skincare product is actually a face cream, which I use as, again, as a base for my makeup. And that is this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And again, this has been getting so much love whenever I film tutorials or whenever I'm just genuinely getting ready like off camera when like none of these fancy lights or anything are on and I just love the way this not only makes my skin feel but the way that foundation on top like sits and I just feel like my skin is left so nice and nourished and moisturized underneath my makeup because when I do go glam I go very glam I know my skin sometimes doesn't really need coverage but recently I've been really liking like the full coverage like shebang in your face glam makeup and this has been doing the job. I would actually suggest anyone who's looking into this cream to get yourselves a sample from Bobbi Brown and yeah give it a go because I really 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 like it. Speaking of full coverage foundations I've got two foundations which I have been loving um, over the past month. The first one being the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation. I feel like since getting this I have worn almost only this on my face when I want to be like really glammed up. Obviously this is not a foundation to wear on a day to day basis for me personally because I only like kind of full coverage foundations when I'm going out or if I'm filming a video or if I really need to be glammed up for like a wedding or an event. This one in particular is in the shade 60. I find that the mixture of 60 and 70 gives me a really nice kind of match. I am actually wearing it today so you guys can kind of see. And I've been wearing it a lot on my Instagram so you guys can see what it looks like in flash photography. I will leave my Instagram details somewhere around here. And also a link in the info box if you want to follow me on there. One pump 
seriously goes a heck of a long way. On my face right now, I literally have one pump and that is it. This is like the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, like on another level. I think it has like five times more the pigment or something like that. I have been really, really, really enjoying this. Coming from a person who does not like thick, really cakey, heavy, full extra coverage foundations. This I've been really liking because it doesn't feel like it's heavy on the skin. It actually feels quite light. And when I touch my skin, I don't feel like I'm wearing like layers and layers of makeup. I believe this is coming to the UK this month. Don't quote me on that. But I have this feeling inside me that it's coming this month. If I do have an exact date, I will leave it in the info box below for you guys. But I have been thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying that foundation. So the next foundation isn't exactly only a foundation for me. It's like a setting powder. It's something to kind of amp up my skin whenever I want it to give it that extra kind of loving. And that is this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. I always want to call it Base Pro Foundation. I have no idea why. But this is basically a powder foundation. And I have been loving this for the days where I don't really want to wear any makeup. It's been really hot here in the UK recently and I feel like whenever it has been hot and I need to wear something on my face during the day, I will just swirl this all over my face. If I do want to kind of amp up my coverage a little bit, then I will put it on with like a BB cream or something like that underneath. The other way that I love using this is actually as a setting powder. And I don't use this all the time because it is a very, very highly pigmented kind of powder foundation. So I only use it on the days where I want that extra glam. So when I'm going to weddings, events, yada, 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 you guys know the drill. I love the way this looks on my skin. Alone, I find that it's like, like a wine. So when you put it on in the beginning of the day, your skin looks really nice. It doesn't look cakey. It, again, like in a weird way, because it's a powder, like it's so weird to kind of describe until you have it on your face. You kind of like buff it into your skin and it slowly builds up coverage on your face. But then throughout the day, I find like when this powder foundation kind of like merges with like the natural oils in your skin, I feel like it looks even better. And another thing that I love about this is because it's a powder foundation as well for me as like a setting powder I can check this in my bag and I've got not only a foundation but a powder and a setting powder all that in one go um so I've been really really liking this keeping with the basic products the next product is a contour powder not I'm, just, I'm, I'm lying it's a cream contour and it's this one here by Becca it's actually called the low light sculpting perfecter I know you guys are going to be like well that's a very cool toned contour product and yes it is and that's why I love it and you guys know I love the cool contour. Like, I just feel like it adds such a nice shadow to the skin. I am wearing it today, of course. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. I feel like I've used this so much. I still haven't hit pan yet. I have a feeling that I might hit pan soon, but I just love it. It blends like a dream. It's that perfect cool toned color. So it adds a really nice shadow to the skin. And I am in love with it. I'm gonna be quite out there, but I feel like this has become my favorite cream contour product out there. It's a big statement to make, it's a bold statement to make, but I am really, really, really loving this. So I've got three eye products. I'm gonna kind of go in the direction that I would put them on. The first one is this Benefit Air Patrol. It is really dirty on the tube, but I've been loving this to use as a primer underneath all my eyeshadows. I find that this, whenever I put it on, it doesn't really add much color to my eyelid, which is what I really like. And it comes in a clicky stick, so it's easy to use. One thing I would say is that I've had a lot of product get stuck in like, like nib bit and it's just like dried up and that is a little bit annoying but the product itself it's really 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 good i really like the way that my eyeshadow blends on top of this but also the staying power my eyeshadow stays it doesn't crease it lasts pretty much all day uh, which is what you want in a primer so really really liking this i just really hope they update the packaging because i feel like my stuff is just getting stuck on the nib so it'd be nice to kind of have this maybe in like a tube form just so that it's easy to kind of like work with next up is an eyeshadow palette and i did a video on this and ugh, i had to force myself you guys not to wear this eyeshadow palette because i just thought you guys are just gonna get really bored of me wearing the same thing over and over again, but it is the Naked Basics Ultimate, no, Naked Ultimate Basics palette. <laughs> I always wanna call things my own weird names, but this is the palette right here. If you watched my video where I created three looks with this palette, you will know just how much I'm obsessed with it. When it comes to the Naked palettes, 
I secretly think that the Naked Basics palettes are my favorite, like, you know, the small Naked Basics palette. But there's something about this palette, you just have so much more, like, undertones. So you've got, like, purpley undertones, you've got really, like, red undertones and orange undertones. And you can basically create a full-on, like, smoky eye with this or something uber, 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 uber natural. So I... I just love this. There are some inconsistencies between the shades, but saying that, I can still feel like I can make them work on my eyelids. My favorite shade in this palette, hands down, is Bittersweet, and then also Magnet. Those two have to be like my favorite, favorite shades from this. But I just really like it. I love the packaging of it. I love this like huge mirror that comes with it, because I am one for doing my makeup in small mirrors like this. I just feel like I can see my makeup so much better than in like a big mirror. I genuinely really love this palette. Uh, it's launching this month, I believe, in the UK, but obsessed, absolutely love it. If you like matte eyeshadow shades, when this comes out, definitely give it a swatch and see what you feel because I have a feeling it's gonna become probably my favorite naked palette out there. The last eye product is actually something that I mentioned on Snapchat. If you're wondering what my Snapchat username is, it's just Coastal Beauty, but I mentioned this on my Snapchat a few weeks ago and I am in love. Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be in this video, um, but it is this Artist of Makeup Extreme Art Liner Pen. I'm wearing it on my eyelids right now as my winged liner, and you guys, this eyeliner pen is everything. And the reason why I think it is everything is because if you untwist it, there's a full on cartridge in here. Like, you know the kind of cartridges that you have in like fountain pens where it's super smooth that the ink comes out in? That's what it's got in here. Obviously it's safe for eyes. This is the pen. It is the most smooth, easy to use felt tip liner I have ever, 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 ever tried. What I absolutely love about this is that when you're doing your eyeliner and you're kind of like lining your eyes, you basically get an even amount of eyeliner from like start to finish because it's not like coming from like a sponge inside. It's like pure like eyeliner that's coming out of the nib. What I love about this is that if you are drawing your eyeliner on, you get an even amount of eyeliner on your eyes every single time and I'm just obsessed you guys like I cannot get over it I can't actually say enough praises about this I am just in love with it I think it has again become my favorite eyeliner pen I am gonna make a bold statement again <laughs> I personally think this is better than the Kat Von D eyeliner as well as the Stila eyeliner like this stuff does not budge do you see like it's not smudging it's not coming off. This stuff is like hardcore. I am in love. So the last product I wanna show you guys is a lipstick and it is a nude lipstick, which I have been wearing pretty much with any kind of lipstick that I'm wearing. Obviously not with a color like this because it is nude, but I love mixing it on top of pretty much any nudey, mauvey, browny color that I'm wearing. And I love having this in my handbag as a top up throughout the day. It's this lipstick right here and it's by Hourglass and it's in the shade Femme Nude nude number two. This is what it looks like. It's a really gorgeous kind of peachy nude. I think that it's one of those shades which just looks so good on pretty much any skin tone. This kind of lipstick you can wear with any kind of like darker lip liner all over your lips and put this on top and you're good to go for any kind of nude lipstick. It lasts for ages. It has a really kind of it's almost like, you know, like your mum's old lipsticks from like back in the day had that lipstick smell. So I think that's the only thing that I don't like about it, but love the packaging, love the colour, love like the satiny finish of it. I think it's such a beautiful shade. And yeah, I've just really, really, really been enjoying wearing it over the past month. So that, you guys, is the end of my monthly favourites video. I really hope I did not have any lipstick on my teeth throughout this video because that's really, really annoying. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it as that. Um, leave me suggestions of what videos you'd like to see next um, because I'm always looking for new things to do on my channel. Um, so yeah, that's all for now and I guess I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!